What is going on guys? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are still up here in North Carolina. Today is Saturday. Cletus and Cars, I really wish I could be down there right now. And um, uh, some of you guys have said it in the comments, dude, why don't you just go down there? You could do it. Well, for me, I gotta look at it as a business decision. I have stuff that's broken. I have stuff that I need to fix. I'm not gonna be able to go down there and run cars. At the end of the day, I like to race. I wanna, if I'm going down there, I wanna make some passes. They wanna be good passes. So I'm not gonna drive 12 hours uh, to go and, and not run well. Uh, but I do understand from all you guys that are saying, man, I wish you were down here. I wish I was down there too. Uh, I really feel that um, it was going to be an absolute blast. The event that they put on is spectacular and amazing. It's, it's crazy what it does for drag racing, makes it a fun family, just absolute awesome day. So uh, everyone that's down there at Cletus Cars, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, Cletus and the whole crew. I mean, you guys are just killing it with with a great uh, a great event, and I really did plan. I was talking to Cooper. I was planning on being down there, but the cow is not quite ready. It can't run eighth mile, let alone quarter mile. Um, it's just not running well. If I went there and ran it on this converter, it would literally just start tearing the motor up. Uh, just way too high RPMs, and got this random gremlin, electrical gremlin going on. It looks like it could either be a computer or a crank trigger issue going on in the rooster. So the G body's not ready to roll. Other than that, we are up here, and we're hoping to have a great day. We're throwing it way back here because it's raining a lot of the racing's closed we got ben wes and dennis is back there somewhere and uh you guys might have seen that we have that alcohol lawnmower it was sitting on the side of the house but it moved now and uh it had a bad motor in it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pick up another motor so we are gonna hop in the duramax here and we're gonna go pick up another motor and see what we got so uh thank you guys for checking out today's video thank you guys for always supporting if you guys haven't already go down there and click subscribe for those of you guys that do i appreciate it Look at Wes. Wes! Wes is just the worst neighbor. Just tearing up the front yard. Wow. R right in the front yard, too, huh? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wow, he's, he's feeling good, isn't he? He's feeling real good. So yeah, so this is all my work here, this, and I'll tell you right now, any 80cc, or less, or less, ATV that won't smoke, head up, head up, head up, let me, let me see a nice, like, just rip a huge burnout in the front yard, on the bottom, wow. You've literally lost your mind. The front yard, really? Can you, do you remember when I did a little burnout in the side yard and you got all upset? Yeah, but you dug like that deep. <laughs> That's just like topsoil, so it'll grow back real quick. Wow. Yeah. Dennis, you, you, Dennis, you put a tune up in that thing? Oh, man. It's Wait, a clicks on it now, too, so it helps a little bit. Wow, wow, look at this. Look at this. I missed my Ram Air intake though. That was. Oh, no. He's going for the sleeper look right now. He's going for the sleeper look. Yeah, that, that, that gave it away. Wes, we need to get you a helmet. Is what we need. I know. We need to get you a little like Harley Davidson motorcycle a helmet. Little like. This is around the top. <laughs> oh, I got one of those. Oh man. As long as we modify it, you can have it. Ben's over here like I can't deal with this. Yeah. No, I want my bike running so bad. <laughs> you have a bike at home? Blew it up though. Typical Ben fashion. No, I didn't blow, I didn't blow <laughs> shit up. Somebody blew it up for me and I bought it blown up. <laughs> hey, let's see one more burnout. Whoa, 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 easy. So we just pulled up to the guy's house, I guess. It's uh, kind of out here in the back woods. We actually drove like probably probably a good quarter mile back here in the woods at the end of a cul-de-sac. So it's a little, little sketchy, you know, you never know where you're pulling up to. So we're actually getting out and walking around and seeing what's going on. I want to pick up this uh, lawnmower motor. 
Was that seat to turn around and everything? Yeah, no, we're good. That guy's literally gonna be Ben in like 40 that years. That is literally Ben Logan. That big blue thing is his catapult. Yes. Because he does that the pumpkin chunking thing. What do you say? 3,100 feet it went? Good so, God. We're upgrading from, we didn't show you guys the engine yet, but we'll show you when we get back to the house. But we're upgrading from a, what, six and a half horsepower to an 18 horsepower. The, so this. The, the six and a half probably made nine. Yeah, so the, we could probably get this and make 20. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, but Bob, we hit him up on Craigslist and he's like, yeah, come get it, 85 bucks. Not Good gonna, deal. not gonna complain about that. The competitive, price point for what 18 horsepower was like 600 bucks so i'd say we made out pretty good there and uh now we're gonna head back to the house and we didn't get rained on so what more do you ask for sure trying, trying to turn around now that's probably a badass shop he's got in there what was, I, I did myself in here what was he doing in there was he, he uh he was making welding a, uh, yeah making a like a wall on he, he has the spot out here honestly though it's kind of nice and quiet don't have to worry about an hoa no, don't <laughs> worry about nature away. You guys just watch me complete the 12 point turn. John looks like Austin Powers in that little hallway right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more, and then we're, we're good. All right, I, I, I only counted nine. God, that thing is massive, though. Would you just take a look? And I can't even. I mean, that thing's like that 20 foot tall, 25 30, foot tall. 30. 3,150 feet. That's over half a mile. That's like probably like seven tenths of a mile. Yeah. That's wild. Shout out to Bob. Great guy. Think about it. You gotta, I'm going to save his number. We're going to call him and say, hey, Bob, come ride in a race car. You should. <laughs> he would probably love that. <laughs> that's like, that's crazy, dude. How do you not crush it, like vaporize that pumpkin with all that? Force? Oh, I know. Yeah, let's be real. That is been in like 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got the smart car, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Chucking and driving a smart car still. <laughs> Some things never change. But let's be real though. That the horsepower per price. Oh man. Cannot be touched. Oh, and yeah. and he goes, it fires up too, and he literally cranked it one try, fired up. <laughs> never in my life have I do, seen that with anything. Do you know what I literally barely even pulled it and this started guy's right off. Struggling to mount a tire for his lawnmower, yeah. and that dude's back there building a pumpkin catapult. Yeah, 3,000 uh, foot catapult. <laughs> Alright, back to the house. All right. Would you look at this, John? John's had the motor for th about three minutes and has already ruined it. Just dump oil everywhere. Oh, it's not Shell Rotella, so we don't want to run it anyway. <laughs> Unbelievable! Can't have. Can't have anything with you else. around. Not have anything. If you wouldn't have left the driveway at 20 miles an hour, I forgot sideways. I literally just picked it up. Forgot it was back there. All right, guys, here it is, the new power plant. I don't think John's gonna be able to ride in this thing. Our new engine. God, it actually, too much power. it is massive. So this is a 18 horsepower. This is a big block. Big block. Pull Going start. to the carb stuff. Big block pull start. Pull start, first try, every time. <laughs> oh, God. I can't even deal with it. The idler down here runs pretty good. Got a nice one inch output shaft. Put keyway in there. It's just a good old, it's just a good running engine. It is. Ben, big block pull start. Anyone can get it. Uh, some things that we are going to need for it, we are going to need uh, a flywheel, a clutch assembly. Uh, what else are we going to need? Um, rod. rod. We're going to need a um, a different carburetor yeah. for alcohol. Oh, he's been running with a filter. We can take that off. That's more horsepower. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to have to have some fab time to put it into the, uh, the chariot. Oh, it looks good. Oh wow, our, our job of airing up the tires just completely backfired. Hmm. <laughs> you know what's gonna I don't think it's gonna fit. We gonna we're gonna have to redo the we're, we're gonna have to re redo the steering on there. That's what I mean. Like it's gonna that take some. massive. Yeah, it is massive. We're gonna have to relocate the gas tank under the driver's seat. Oh that's there's no problem with that. 
Oh, I want a little fuel cell like they have on the pro mods right up at the very front, <laughs> right at the nose. Did it even come with a full tank of 87? I bet it, I bet it does. God, Bob was too good to us. Bob was good to us. Oh. Man, started right you know how many pumpkins this thing's throwing? <laughs> Good guy. I think he filled. I sold. Ben's like, we don't need to run that thing. No, <laughs> like, this is a pumpkinator. We need to remove the damn exhaust. It's got a muffler on it. That's, yeah, that's got to go. The muffler and the tank both have to be. Let's go ahead and take that off. We're being, we're being, and what we'll do, we'll pull the head off and we'll weld up the chamber to up compression. Friendly. We'll we'll keep that muffler on it for for starters. Running well, up and down the street. Angle fit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> We need to, uh, we definitely need to weld up that head though, don't you think? To bump up compression. Yeah. Just weld it up so it's literally just a, a valve or two chilling. So, what's our first move with this, Ben? Gas, gas tank oh, off. Gas tank off, muffler off. And, and just mock it up. Mock it up, set, mock it up, yeah, set mock it on there. Essentially what we're, do, what we're doing here, it's kind of a dumbed down pro mod that we're building. We already have the yeah, chassis done. these line up to the other one. And they just bolt right in. But then it's gonna need to be offset because it's a bigger motor. And you're not going to run this converter thing. Mr. Negative. Mr. Negative over there. I, I, no, I'm, I'm just, just, I'm just being realistic as to how it's going to have to happen. <laughs> you know what? Uh, not I how can, I, it's nothing about like how I want it to happen. It's just about life beater. Hey, you? Let's, let's, just, let, let's get this off, man. I, I want to sit it. Yeah, we're ready to go. Hey, you can pour that, that gas. Pour that right in the smart car. All right, we are two minutes in, and uh, we have the exhaust off. What else do we have off? We have the, the air filter off, the cleaner, air cleaner. Ben's ripping the carb off. And we haven't even made it out of the bed of my truck. So I'd say we're, we're right on schedule here, right on pace. I'd say it's going to be a mock-up day. We're going to kind of get a parts list, see what we got going on. We need to get a flange made for the exhaust because we're going to run stainless exhaust. We could run aluminum exhaust. Mm -hmm. Be real high dollar. What is that? Like one inch in diameter aluminum pipe? Uh... Yeah, inch and, inch and quarter. Well, we, we that's on the list. What else is on the list? We need the the rod, the flywheel, the different carburetor for alcohol. We could run it on gas for a little while. I think Dennis wants to just see it running. Oh yeah, I say let's put some miles on it. I think it'll go fast enough to and scare you on gas. And we got to get a base. On I, say so I mean, we, we could we could do that. We could do that for sure, definitely. My boy Bob let me down. I really expected him to have a cleaner carburetor than that. He did rebuild it. It's just been chunking some pumpkins, that's all. Yeah, it has been chunking some pumpkins. i tell you though, with a jet kit and a, um, a higher flowing exhaust and higher flowing air filter, it's going to need a fuel pump, which is like a $20 piece. A fuel pump? Yeah, it operates off the pulse. Exactly. Make, make we're we're going to need a, we're gonna need a, legit, oh, we need a different uh, plug wire for sure. A heat shield you on actually, that. You use an MSD plug wire for that. I've done it. We have those laying around. Shout out to Holly. Holly MSD. Use their stuff on literally everything. I think we have MSD plug wire on our stove, don't we? <laughs> Speaking of stove, mozzarella sticks. <laughs> it's preheating right now. How, how do you eat mozzarella sticks without marinara? I got marinara. Oh, he's got them fries that'll cross your eyes. So what are we doing? So now? are we going to set this Test in there and, and see if it... Uh... Well, oh, ben, yeah. Ben's like, here, let me just... Uh... That's the... Uh, that's, that's, that's to prevent any engine theft. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see us, we're gonna have some clearance issues here. Oh, no, I so. None whatsoever. Okay. None whatsoever. Look at that. That's OEM fitment. Oh, wow. Man, that thing. Wow. We might have to do a little something out the way, shorten up those bolts there. Yeah. I don't know, as we're gonna be well, running. We're not even close to, to where we need to be. No, no, well, we need to move yeah. it over. But. To get everything hang on for anything we do, you know, my shell. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, don't get too turned on, brother. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, turn all the way. There you go. Look at oh, oh, look at we're in. What, what do you wow, mean, talk ball? about a tight <laughs> squeeze. Oh, uh, no problem. No, no, we don't need to steer. We can cut that, that boss off there for the yeah, starter. Yeah, because look at it. We're well, pull start. We're going to have to move way over anyway. So. We don't need to go right. Oh, there ain't no, I, it, this we don't is, need to hook up a chain. Is, no, we'll no, nothing. We'll just, we'll just roll it down there. Just yeah, fire it up. Yeah. As long as I can go straight. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm seeing nothing but solutions. I don't see any problems. No, I, I think it's great. It's definitely bigger. It's definitely a bigger engine, Ben. Whose idea was it to go bigger? Today. 
Well, I think that's going to be the end of today's video where we kind of just have have mock up. So we got our new engine. We got a big block finally. This is the channel's first big block. It's actually the channel's first engine purchase. That's not an LS either. So we're really branching out. We're listening to you guys. Uh, we got it kind of mocked up in there. This is going to be Wes's chariot. Uh, we'll have this definitely done before Wes's G-body's done. So we'll have something to drive at the track. Uh, but I'd say most likely this is probably going to be the fastest thing that Wes will drive to date. Uh, Wes, we're going to get you full leathers. And you're going to start running this at the track. So that's going to be good. full leathers. I will wear them. We need a, we need a name for this. It's the green mower. What what body is on it? Is it a... Uh, a craftsman. A craftsman. So we need a name for this one. And uh, this is just going to be like a little toy, a little pit vehicle. It's going to be on alcohol. It's going to be loud. It's going to make like... Well, I think with that kit, they said it'd make like make, 30 horsepower. Yeah. 30 horsepower and something like this is definitely enough to Put your damage off. Wes badly. So I think that'll make for a good video when it happens. But other than that, no, I, I don't think that'll make for a good video. <laughs> I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll get back to the normal car stuff tomorrow. I think we'll be working on brown sugar tomorrow. But uh, we're trying to get everything back up and running. Uh, just a couple little things on the cow. Uh, we got to figure out what's going on with the rooster, and then we should be good to go. So I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, we'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.